Hi guys, Riaz here from Riverdog Safaris and this weekend we are on the Loa Zambezi. The fish ban has been lifted and we are out here to test the waters. Uh, we are staying here at Kuzambara Retreat which is a new camp on the Loa Zambezi. Uh, it's a self-catering camp with three chalets. We came to the camp with Munif who is the owner, his son Ibi, my good friend Hamza and uh, Munif's dad as well. So we got our rods ready, we got our bait ready and we started our day. And you know, and just in the, it, we just had a good feeling that today is gonna be an excellent day of fishing. The conditions were looking absolutely perfect. You know, we got to our first spot, and in no time, first drift, Hamza is on. He's on a fish on the first drift of the day. Yeah. Well done, Hamza. Awesome. Nice one. Beautiful specimen. First fish of the day, about 5 kgs. Beautiful colors on it. I don't even count for that one. Okay. Nice one, Hamza. Awesome. A while after that, we said, you know what? Let's, today we're going to survey the waters. We're not going to redrift the spots. We're not going to try the old spots that we know. We're going to try new spots as well. And I saw this beautiful drop off, and I decided to say, you know, let's give it a try. And again, 10 minutes, Munif hooked up. And, you know, for a moment I couldn't see the fish, you know, and um, until it jumped. And when it jumped, that's when all hell broke loose because I said, that is a big fish. Experience, huh? I can see the experience. Yeah. Go on, movie. It's a first tiger of the season. But if you're gonna catch big tigers like this for your first tiger, you. Not bad, the first cycle of the season. I am tiger. Nice, nice, nice. 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 Yes! Yeah. Nice one, Muni. Nice one, man. Nice one. Nice one. Oh. oh. That's a donkey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don Look at how easy it will come out, huh? Simple as that. Perfect hook set. Beautiful fish. You know, the laws and busy is so beautiful. 
you know, I love fishing here because there's wildlife, you know, there's birds, there's everything that you can ever want in a fishery. And um, it's taken years of conservation and, you know, hard work by all the camps, well, most of the camps along the river to get it to where it is. And, um, you know, we are truly, you know, gracious of the marvel that we have before us. After that, we, you know, I got a bit, I was getting a bit jealous, I'm not going to lie, I'm the only guy on the boat who hasn't put a fish and, you know, I'm the, supposed to be the guide, but, um, you know, I never crack under pressure and fortunately for me, I had to run and, you know, although everyone was watching me, I knew that I put my back into that strike and um, my fish was on. stopped for lunch after that at this camp called Mukuyu Lodge which is a beautiful camp it's um, down river from us about 50 k's 40 k's down river they're ever so friendly ever so welcoming to help us stop for lunch we stopped for lunch met up with Ibi and his granddad and um, you know Ibi hadn't caught anything so we decided that you know what Ibi should join us and jump on our boat and um, since I was guiding now and not fishing and um, that was, I think, the best idea we did because, damn, that boy can fish, you know. It was just chaos. He just never stopped catching fish. He caught one fish, you know, he caught it well. And you could t I could tell that he's been taught well by his dad. this on yourself um, and after that uh, Ibi hooked up now to a very big fish when that hit rod was bending I could tell that that's, that's a very good fish a decent size yes <laughs> don't stop reading keep reading keep reading don't stop reading give me the rod nice one Nice one, Ibi. Nice, Ibi. Okay. Yes. Don't rush to take him out. Oh, that's a nice one. Ibi, two on two. The net is there, okay? Okay. Lift the rod a bit. Wait, he's not yet tight, wait. Double up. Another one going there. I think it's stuck. Nice one. It's a 
beautiful thing. Woo! Ibi! That's a beast! I think Ibi caught this beautiful four and a half kg tiger. He's a very good fisherman, like his dad. Let's go put it back in the water first. Uh, in the end, you know, it was the last drift. We were quite far out from camp and we said, you know what, do we go back up? Do we fish upriver? Do we continue fishing downriver? So we said, you know what, let's just give it one more drift and we'll just shoot up one, one way up, you know. So we said, okay. So we set our lines out, set the boat out. And the first person, Hamza, got a bite. I was just like, oh, awesome. One last fish of the day. And as he was fighting the fish, after he set the hook, Munif's rod went. I'm like, oh, okay, double up. Fantastic. And uh, they were both fighting the fish at the same time. It's always, always, always so nice to see both fish on the, you know, to see a double up. We landed both fish and everyone was happy, ready to take pictures. And in that moment, Ibi's rod goes. And now, there's now a possibility of a triple up. Real, 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 strike again, strike again, real, real fast, yeah, real fast, real fast, yeah, real fast, real fast, yeah, keep the rod up. Strike upwards, strike upwards. Yeah, real, yeah. Nice one. Oh, it's... Woo! Dribble up! Yo! Easy, 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 don't lift it, don't lift it. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, beautiful, we actually have a triple up. EB with one there, Munif with another one, and Hamza. Awesome. Ah, okay. Look here. Let's release quickly. Okay. Yeah, it's gone. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you know, to see kids love fishing is something else for me. You know, I've got a son. He's seven years old. He loves fishing. And I remember being that seven, eight, nine, ten-year-old kid who just couldn't wait to just get on the water. And to see the generations come up and to be able to teach them and to guide them and to make memories with them, you know, it plays a special place in my heart. Um, you know, if the season is beginning, I predict it's going to be a great season ahead. And I know that Kuzambara retreat is a place to be this year. And um, without a doubt, this is where we're going to get all the fish. So we look forward to seeing all of you. And I'm going to run you through some of, some of our setups in my next video to show you exactly uh, the tackle that we use and what we use and how we use them. Okay, thanks guys. <laughs>